Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find socks made in the USA. Naturally, after doing shoes made in the USA, we had to hit socks too, something that pretty much everybody has a dedicated drawer to in their dresser. Now, like I've covered in previous videos, according to the latest data that we have, only about 3% of all apparel purchases nationwide are actually products that are made in the USA. But fear not, there are a lot of great American sock manufacturers that we're going to cover in today's video. You just gotta know where to find them. So, in today's video, I'm going to cover how to spot pairs of socks that are made in the USA, my top picks for American-made socks, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you are passionate about buying American-made products, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. We have a ton of research and buying guides on how to find products that are made in the USA. Let's get started with how to find socks made in the USA. First, let's cover how to spot pairs of socks that are made in the USA. Now, like we've covered in a few previous videos, we have a couple of pieces of US legislation that are on our side when it comes to finding the country of origin. The Textile Products Identification Act of 1960 requires sock and textile manufacturers to list a few things on their clothing tags. First is using standardized language for all of the fiber materials within the product. Second is the percentage weight of each of those fiber materials that are in the product. And third is listing the country of origin of the product. We also have Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code that basically says that any product that is imported must be labeled as such with its country of origin. So if you have the socks right in front of you, check the tag, check the product packaging, you should be able to see where those socks are made. If you don't have the pair of socks in front of you, check their website, give them a good old fashioned phone call, or head over to allamericanreviews.com. We may have done the research for you, and if not, feel free to shoot us a message. And if they're using made in the USA language, just remember to be cautious about the wording there. Make sure to watch out for qualifiers like made in the USA with imported materials or assembled in the USA. Some textile manufacturers are assembling and stitching a lot of their clothes and socks and other products here, but are sourcing their fabrics from elsewhere. Let's talk about fabrics for a second. The most common fabric found in socks is cotton. Cotton farming is obviously huge in the US. It's a $21 billion industry employing over 125,000 people across our country, according to the latest data that we have from the economic research sector of the USDA. The US is not the global leader in cotton production though. We're actually third behind China and India. So make sure to check where your cotton is coming from when you're buying a new pair of socks. Wool is another common fiber found in a lot of socks, especially your winter and thermal varieties. You'll often hear the term merino wool thrown around a lot. That's actually the type of sheep that the wool comes from. Merinos are super soft and used in a lot of clothing. They're found all over the world, particularly in Australia and New Zealand, but you can also find them in the Western United States. So make sure to check where your wool is sourced when you're buying that new pair of socks. Cashmere is another popular type of wool or hair that you're likely to come across. Most cashmere comes from goats in the Gobi Desert, uh, which stretches from China to Mongolia. Unfortunately, you're not gonna find much cashmere sourced here in the US. You'll also come across fibers like elastane, we call it spandex here in the US, nylon, polyester, some of it's sourced here, some of it's not, so make sure to check the tag or give the brand a call. All right, now that we've covered some tips on how to spot pairs of socks that are made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American-made socks. I'll start off with some more formal and fun options and then get into some stuff for everyday wear as well as some hiking and winter options as well. Now, even with a lot of textile manufacturers moving their production overseas, there are still a ton of great American-made options for socks, and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for a full list of our top picks of the best socks made in the USA, check in the description below for a link to that article on All American Reviews, and make sure to leave a comment below with your favorite American-made socks. First up is Boardroom Socks. Boardroom Socks is a small family-owned business in North Carolina that is making some incredible men's dress socks. I actually have a pair here. This is their American flag option. 
really comfortable couple of different options in terms of mid calf and over calf sizes as well as a lot of different style options so if you need a good pair of dress socks be sure to check out boardroom socks we also have an exclusive interview with nathan and the team at boardroom socks on all american reviews we call it our spotlight series but they have a really cool story so be sure and check that out as well Next up is Authentically American. Authentically American is one of my favorite clothing companies made in the USA. I actually have one of their sweat tees on today, which are super cool and you guys should check out. I'll throw a link in the description below to these shirts too. They were founded in 2017 and are veteran owned. I also have a conversation with Dean Wegner, who is their founder on All American Reviews, again, in our Spotlight series, so be sure to check that out. They have some pretty cool patriotic design socks that I really like, and a bunch of other different style options, whether it's for the holidays or different military schools, a lot of different design options there, as well as just a lot of different patriotic patterns. So if you are curious about some of their sock designs, definitely go and check out Authentically American. Next up is Thorlos. Thorlos was founded in the early 1980s in North Carolina and has a huge sock lineup made in the USA of a bunch of different styles from athletic to everyday wear for men, women, and kids. I have a pair of their low thin cut socks that they call their fitness socks. They are super comfortable. They don't ride down in your shoe like a lot of other socks do and they come in a bunch of different color options if that's your thing. For folks who need a little bit more padding, Thorlos also has a sock that they call their Max Cushion Series. So if you have sore feet, be sure to check those out as well. Next up is Lily Trotters. Lily Trotters is a brand that we discovered a couple of years ago. I'll link to my interview with them in the description below. But they make some wonderful socks that are athleisure compression socks specifically for women. For those who aren't familiar with compression socks, they are mostly used for athletic performance, but they are just in general great for muscle recovery, preventing swelling and lactic acid buildup, and just generally make your legs feel great. And Lily Trotters does it in style. They have a ton of cool design options. So ladies, if you're interested in compression socks, definitely check out Lily Trotters. And the last brand I'll cover today is Farm to Feet. I wanted to make sure that we cover hiking and winter socks in this video and farm to feet is just about as good as it gets in that category. They are wool socks, you can use them for hiking, skiing, or frankly just wearing around every day. Now I know what you're thinking, wool is super hot. That's not always the case though, and farm to feet I think does a really nice job of keeping your feet cool in the summer, these socks are super breathable, and also keeping your feet warm in the winter when you're hiking, skiing, or just wearing around. Anyways, farm to feet, thicker wool sock, great for hiking and winter activities. So if you need something in that variety, be sure to check them out. Darn Tough is also a good option in this category. I actually have one of their socks here. Great sock for just hiking and wearing around. So if you need some wool socks, definitely check those guys out, farm to feet and Darn Tough. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Hanes socks made in the USA? And the answer is no. Most Hanes socks and their other products for that matter are actually made in Thailand and Vietnam. We have a lot more research on Hanes on All American Reviews, which I've linked to in the description below. Next, are Bombas socks made in the USA? And the answer is no. Most of their socks are not made in the USA. They are typically made in Taiwan, China, and Peru. They have a few American-made styles, but honestly, I think you can find much better options out there. And lastly, are Nike socks made in the USA? And the answer is no. Nike is an Oregon-based company, but they pretty much outsource all of their manufacturing to Asian countries like China and Indonesia. That's it for this video on how to find socks made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews. We'll find an answer for you and write something up. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.